Okay, I'm going to show you how you're going to go about fixing your iPhoto, uh, not recognizing your iPhoto database. So to start, let's open up your hard drive. Uh, from here, I want you to go to your user folder. And then in your user folder, can you go into your pictures folder? Right click here on iPhoto library, go down to show package contents. From here, you want to go into the database folder. And in the database folder, you'll see a file named data model version dot p list. You might not see the dot p list, it depends on your system setting, but you want this file, data model version. Right click on that, go to open with. Your options here will likely be different than mine, but you should have this other option. So click the other option. From there, I want you to scroll down and scroll down all the way until you see a program called text edit. Open it with text edit. And your file will look similar to mine, except, uh, and most of it you won't care about, but scroll down where you see it says, key is iPhoto library. The line after that will say false here, like this, but you want it to say true. So change that to true, save it, and then quit this program. I'm not going to save changes because I don't have this problem, but you'll want to, you'll want to click save on that. Uh, and then after this, when you open iPhoto, it should work. Uh, just to note, a word of caution, don't do this while iPhoto is running. I'm not sure exactly what would happen, but I don't think it will be what you want to happen. So yeah, just make sure iPhoto is quick and you should be good to go.